Hello class 7 students, welcome back to the chapter 5 of civics which is talking about gender equality. Learning objectives, gender inequality, changing role of gender, discrimination against women in India, winds of change, gender stereotyping, gender as root of social inequalities, economic aspects of gender. Let's warm up. Look at the following image related to gender inequality and answer the questions that follow. A. How is gender inequality occurs on our society? B. What can we as individuals do to minimize the, cause or the causes of gender inequality? Comprehensively, women have less open chances for financial interest than men and so about access to essential and advanced education, ensuring the rights of common and giving them chances to achieve their maximum potential is critical not only for attaining gender equality but also for gathering a wide range of worldwide advancement objectives. Empowered ladies and young ladies add to the well-being and efficiency of their families. The word gender describes the socially constructed roles and responsibilities that society consider appropriate for men and women respectively. Gender equality means that men and women have equal power and equal opportunities for financial independence, education and personal development. Answer the following questions. A. In what sectors are women deprived of their rights or have less access to vital roles? B. Empowered ladies and girls add to the well-being of their families. Elaborate. C. Define the following terms based on your understanding. First, gender. Second, gender equality. Discrimination is associated with prejudice and regarded as objectionable. It may entail behavior either to benefit an individual or harm the individual concerned. Gender discrimination refers to a belief in relation to gender of a person which may or may not carry legal consequences but is of social nature. These are the images of boys are encouraged to play tough games whereas girls are told to play soft games. And you can look at the differences in these pictures. When we talk of gender discrimination, we talk about patriarchy which is a system of social structures and practices in which men folk dominate, oppress and exploit women folk. It manifests itself in preference for a son discrimination against daughter in food distribution, burden of household work, lack of opportunities for girls, lack of educational opportunities restricted mobility, wife beating, lack of inheritance to women, foot binding in China, sati system, dowry system, ill treatment of widows and child marriages in India are manifestations of patriarchy. The dichotomous nature of gender leads to the creation of inequality that manifests itself in numerous dimensions of everyday life. Also, when distinctions is made between males and females and differential treatment is given out to boys and girls, then there is a gender inequality. Gender inequality. The practice of discrimination between males and females to the extent that unequal treatment is meted out to males and females in different fields is known as gender inequality. Gender inequality has been and is continuing to be a major social evil impeding the progress of our country. In fact, many other countries of the world have been a victim of this evil for the last so many centuries. Many people feel that the biological difference between the two genders results in this social malpractice of gender discrimination. However, it has to be noted that gender is a social construct and not determined by the biological difference. This means that it is the society which has created this concept of gender discrimination to use it to its own advantage. These are the images of some women. Indian women have risen to top in all walks of life and these are the examples of those women.
gender stereotyping stereotype can be termed as an image or idea of a particular type of person or thing that has become fixed through being widely held some examples of prejudices and stereotypes prevalent in the society regarding boys and girls are as follows girls are a burden on their parents girls are physically and mentally weak girls are not able to play outdoor games girls are emotionally weak girls are full of superstitions boys are naughty boys are physically and mentally strong creating stereotypes of course it is our society that creates stereotypes we hear the statements related to stereotypes constantly because of this we grow up behaving in a particular pattern we accept the social norms without even thinking we also start believing that each one of us must behave accordingly in this way we are forced to fit into a set image this image is created around us by the society such prejudices or stereotypes create gender discrimination among the people discrimination refers to the unfair treatment of a person or group on the basis of prejudice or stereotype for example girls are determined in a men in the men dominated society in other words if we do something to put other people down in any way such as by stopping them taking part in certain activities living in certain conditions wearing some specific clothes etc we are discriminating against them stereotypes destroy peace and hamper progress and development of a region or a country in fact they hinder us from looking at special qualities or skills of an individual that are different from others ultimately stereotypes affects all of us very badly in this image you can see boys and girls deserve equal education changing role of gender a gender role is a set pattern of behavior that a man or a woman is expected to follow in a society gender roles may vary from society to society in any given society they may also change over time a person becomes aware of his or her gender role as he or she interacts with other members of the society in the family in the community in school and in public places number 1 in schools gender equality exists when both females and males have equal opportunities in fact this means that everyone male or female can pursue a broad range of interests subjects careers and lifestyles gender equality at school can be improved in quality if the school is a place where girls and boys feel safe are safe and where they are respected and valued the school recognizes its active role in the construction of gender and is committed to practices that reflect gender equality all students have access to an effective and rewarding education second in the family children get their first lesson in social life from their family members usually it is expected that children will play the role of parents in future so a girl is usually encouraged to behave like her mother and a boy is encouraged to behave like his father according to tradition girls are expected to grow up and marry have children do the housework and take care of the family hence girls are brought up to be kind and gentle and they are usually encouraged to develop skills such as cooking and sewing boys are expected to work outside home and earn money to support the family hence boys are encouraged to do well in sports and studies so that they become strong and intelligent however these gender roles are not strictly followed there are many families in which girls are encouraged to pursue studies and work outside home number 3 in the community women are considered to be weaker than men both emotionally and intellectually it is believed that women are emotionally driven to do things their actions lack rationality for a very long time women were kept out of politics it was believed if women participated in politics they would lose their innate feminine qualities Social evils such as female infanticide and female foeticide are examples of gender discrimination. This relegates women to a much lower position in society. However, present trends indicate that things are changing for the better. Several measures have 
been undertaken by the government women's movement and organizations to ensure equality of women in all walks of life gender as root of social inequalities in principles men and women are equal with the same rights and duties in practice that is not the case in many situations men can earn more money than women they can get better jobs they can make more decisions in family and community and hold more positions of power in society in education more men then women benefit from higher levels of education and more boys than girls are in school in some situations the opposite is true almost everywhere girls do better in schools than boys however across the world as a whole 57% of the children out of school are girls there are many reasons why this is so girls stay at home to do household chores or look after younger brothers and sisters they are married and bear children at a young age some have to work to earn money for the family this image is depicting boys are encouraged to complete their studies as they are seen as the future breadwinners of the family girls are often expected to take care of younger siblings at home gender must be understood as a conditioning factor of all aspects of social life in the workforce in the family in political and cultural relations as well as in ways of relating with the environment discrimination against women in india major areas of discrimination against women in india first lack of education in villages families are less likely to educate girls than boys girls are often made to give up education and stay at home to help out in the housework second malnutrition india has exceptionally high rates of child malnutrition tradition in india requires that women eat last and least throughout their lives even when pregnant malnourished women give birth to malnourished children in this image this image is depicting child nutrition third poor health females receive less health care than males many women die during childbirth due to complications arising from the lack of a proper diet and nutrition four powerlessness while women are guaranteed equality under the law but it is not followed in practice women lack power to decide who they will marry and are often married off at a very young age legal loopholes are used to deny women inheritance rights five mistreatment the women have been mistreated lack of awareness and social education is the root cause of dowry deaths killing of girl child and selling of young girls into marriage sixth overwork women work for longer hours and their work is more difficult than men's yet their work goes unrecognized economic aspects of gender in most if not all societies the socio economic relations between women and men are largely unequal and hierarchical women have fewer educational opportunities than men and receive unequal distribution of land and access to resources such as food and health care fact file the union territory of ladakh recorded the highest sex ratio at birth in the country in 2020 followed by arunachal pradesh and andaman and nicobar islands gender and poverty increasing number of girls and women is living in poverty and the gap between them and men is widening the gender inequalities must be addressed within development plans this would have a measurable impact on the actual situation of women development policies and approaches need to be non discriminatory and effective the indian constitution grants women equal rights with men in most indian families a daughter is viewed as a liability and she is conditioned to believe that she is inferior and subordinate to men sons are idealized and celebrated non recognition of women's work the work men do at homes is not given any value women perform household chores like cleaning washing cooking rearing children and so on they are also responsible for creating good social ties and healthy family bonding in rural areas women fetch water and firewood help plow fields graze cattle etc but all this work is only seen as her duty for her family as these works don't fetch money
in this image you can see the forgotten gender where women are working in the fields but their work is not recognized winds of change however today expectations of the society from a man and a woman have changed however today expectations of the society of a man and a woman have changed today women are at par with men they are looking after the home as well as managing careers women have also entered male dominated professions and have become fighter pilots police officers and engine drivers the position of women in society underwent a change when women decided to come out of their homes and adopt the role of breadwinners during the industrial revolution in europe subsequently many reforms have taken place all over the world through the ages which have further improved the position of the women think smarter the right to information act 2005 has made it mandatory for all packaged commodities to mention the following date of manufacture date of expiry mrp maximum retail price each content and its proportion how do you think it will help the customers in the loop although child marriage is illegal in india almost half of all women between the ages of 20 to 24 years were married off before the legal age of 18 value and life skills in the present day world it is said that men and women are treated equally do you feel the same or not give justification for your answer recapitulation patriarchy is a system of social structure and practices in which men dominate oppress and exploit women gender is a type of stereotyping a gender role is a set pattern of behavior that a man or a woman is expected to follow in a society usually it is expected that children will play the role of parents in future in principle men and women are equal with the same rights and duties in practice that is not the case in many situations thank you class let's meet again in the next chapter